This is amazing. What if Autogen can remember important points from your previous conversation? What if you can teach Autogen? Imagine Autogen with unlimited memory. And will it replace MemGPT? You're going to tell me that by the end of the video. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Teachable Agent in Autogen. It can analyze your conversation and save important points in Vector Database. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to code it and run it. But before that, I regularly create videos in my YouTube channel in regards to artificial intelligence. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to Teachable Agent, as you can see in this image, the user proxy is having a conversation with the Teachable Agent. User proxy is you talking to a Teachable Agent. The Teachable Agent uses Text Analyzer Agent. This analyzes the important points in the discussion and it saves that in the vector DB. So next time when you ask a question, the Teachable Agent can respond based on the previous conversation you had, which means it's more likely it understands the context and respond much more accurately. To implement this in the code, in your file from Autogen, import user proxy agent. Next from Autogen agent chat, contrib.teachable agent, import teachable agent. That's how you import teachable agent. Next, we are creating a teachable agent. Teachable agent equals teachable agent and you're providing the name. And then if you want to reset the database, you're going to mention that as true. If you want to use the existing database, you can mention that as false. Each time, if you want to start afresh, you want to mention that as true. Then you're mentioning the path to the database directory. It is going to use Chroma DB. Next, you're creating a user proxy agent. User equals user proxy agent, user, human input mode always. This allows you to teach every single step throughout the process. Then we are going to initiate the chat, teachable agent.initiate chat, and you're mentioning the user. And as a message, hi, I am a teachable user assistant. What's on your mind? Next, we're going to update the database with teachable agent.learn from user feedback. This will analyze the conversation using the text analyzing agent and save that in the Chroma DB. Next, teachable agent.close DB. This will automatically close the database. That's it. As a quick overview, you create a teachable agent, provide the path to the database, and you're going to initiate the chat with the user proxy. Finally, learn from user feedback and saving it in database. Now I'm going to run this code. Export here OpenAI API key as usual. Then Python teachable agent.py and click enter. I'm a teachable user assistant. What's on your mind? I'm going to say I am Mervin Prazen and click enter. Now it's responding. Hello, Mervin Prazen. It's nice to meet you. I'm going to say I am interested in AI. Hello, Mervin Prazen. I see you're interested in AI, which is a fascinating field. Now I'm going to exit, exit and click enter. Now it's reviewing the chat for user teachings to remember. And next it's saving it in the folder, which we mentioned. Now I'm going to start this one again with python teachable agent.py and I'm going to check if it can remember my previous conversation. I'm going to ask what is my name? It's loading the chroma DB. Hello Mervin Prason, how can I assist you today? See it can remember my name. Next I'm going to ask what I am interested in. You are interested in AI Mervin Prason? That is amazing. Now you can make your autogen teachable agent remember important points in your conversation and you are able to teach as much as information as you want. Even in the teachable agent folder, you can see the Chroma DB got created and you should be able to browse this database as well. Now you can create multiple agents to do a big task and also able to remember your previous conversation. That's it, as simple as that. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.